Okay, this is hip extension and glute firing pattern. So first off, your glutes are always firing. If you have a coach that says, oh, your glutes don't fire, you need to go find another coach. If your glutes didn't fire, you couldn't stand up. But that doesn't mean that the glutes are firing in the order in which they need to. So hip extension, so here, okay, or walking or jumping, all that extension of the hip, the firing pattern should always be glute, hamstring, contralateral quadratus lumborum, or opposite lower back, essentially. Glute, hamstring, opposite lower back. Now, sometimes that pattern can get out of whack. And when that happens, then we will see different things like, you know, lower back fatigue or, you know, hamstring pulls or all kinds of different things. Um, so it's essential that we identify, is the firing pattern out of whack? And then what is ultimately creating that problem um, and we will get into that element of it in video two. So the first thing we'll do is we can literally check the glutes here. So let's start uh, on your left leg. So bend your knee, okay, and lift your leg up. Okay, hold it right here. I'm gonna push down, hold. So uh, you can visibly see how weak that one is. Let's see this one. Bend your knee, lift up, okay, hold. You can clearly see the difference here. So then another way you can check this is obviously get consent from your client or patient, but you can manually feel that pattern as well. So, all right, we've already talked about this, but I'm gonna put my hand on your glute and your hamstring. So this leg here, go ahead and lift up just like an inch or two and come down. Do that one more time and down okay. again. Nope, this leg down again, down one more up. Okay, down. Okay. So what you can feel, what I can feel with this one is she's actually going um, QL hamstring glute, QL hamstring glute. And so as that pattern is out of whack, that's shutting things down. And that's ultimately resulting in some other things, you know, problematic areas that she's dealing with at the moment um, compared to this side. So keep the leg straight, lift the leg up, down, lift up, down, same thing, down. Relax all the muscles here. Do it one more time. Down and last one up and down. Okay, good. And you can relax. Yeah. Now, one of the easy ways to activate it or get it firing is just to work on the neural lymphatic points. Uh, this is RPR or uh, the old version be activated, which is what I'm trained under. Uh, a lot of information on RPR if you wanted to use it. Um, Cal Dietz and uh, Chris Corfus and a couple other guys. It's a great program. Um, we utilize it at times just for the purposes of video and speed efficiency reason right now i usually go a little more in depth though this tender back here yeah a little bit there okay give me like 10 seconds okay all right let's check the left leg again so bend the knee okay lift your leg up okay bend the knee a little more okay hold it there don't let me push good so that's clearly a lot stronger um now let's check the pattern so keep the leg straight Lift the leg up just a little bit, down, one more time. Good, and you can immediately feel the glute start to do its job again. Um, so this is video one of how we would attack a hip extension issue.